welcome to this week's story in the in inbox. Now, obviously, we are starting back to meet at Living Stones all together, but we've decided that we are going to continue with Church in Your Inbox. Now, it's going to be really quite interesting to see how many phones go off at a certain time during our morning meeting when this arrives in your inboxes and whether you've got them on silent or not. Well, can you blame me? It's a good opportunity to see. Anyway, let's get on with our story, shall we? This week is about a king, and the king's name was Joash, and it's called Joash Makes a Hash. So, shall I get into the story? There's one thing that this story doesn't tell us about Joash. And kids, listen up. When you look in your Bible, you will find out that he was seven Yes, seven years old when he became king. Now, Joash was the king of Judah. And the Bible says he was a good king. A lot of credit for that goes to a guy called Jehodiah, who was the priest in God's temple in Judah. Jehodiah helped keep the king on the straight and narrow with God. One of Joash's good decisions was to make repairs to the temple. Yeah, it was looking a little bit tatty and run down. Various armies had been and tried to destroy things and stolen stuff. You know, not looking in best condition. To fund that enterprise, Joash decided to dip into the money that the priests collected from the people for the upkeep of the temple. Now, that was a really good idea. But for whatever reason, None of the money ever made it to repairing the temple. But Joash wasn't going to have any of that because he was the king. And he said, we are going to do this. And this is how I want it done. So he called an emergency meeting of all the priests and all the officials of the temple. And asked them, what is going on? Why are you not doing as I have asked you. Now, the King Joash soon realised that leaving the priest to collect the money for the repairs was not going to work. They obviously weren't that interested in the meeting. So he hit upon a good idea, putting a great big money box in the temple next door to the altar. So that when people came to the temple, they put their money in, a bit like a great big piggy bank. Now once the box was there, it became full very quickly. So the royal secretary, one of the king's people, counted it all up. And rather than give it to the priests to give to the builders, paid the builders directly. This idea worked so well that the money box became fuller and fuller time and time again. And there was more than enough money to restore the temple and replace all the things that had been stolen. But, Jeremiah wasn't seven when King Joash became king. He eventually got to 130 years old and died. And Joash was still king. He then lost the plot, in a big way. And he started to allow his people to worship all sorts of things. Bits of wood, stones. Anything but God. And God sent his prophets to tell him that he was getting into trouble, that he was leading his people down the wrong path. But Joash just simply ignored them. He even had one of them, a guy named Zechariah, stoned to death because he didn't like the message. Now God had had enough of this nonsense and this disobedience decided to call time on King Joash's reign. You need to go find the story in your Bible. And no, it's not in the book of Kings. We've now moved it into two chronicles. And it's a whole chapter. Chapter 24 is the story of King Joash. The last few verses will tell you how God resolved the situation. Then open church in your inbox. Kids, there's the family one. Teens, you've got your one. Uh, the craft is there, and there's a video link to a family activity, which I think looks quite fun. So till next week, have a good week.